Hey everyone, Tom with Fresh Vintage here. Today we're looking at our launch scan tool. This is our CRP919X, and that's uh, just a fancy model number. What this thing is, is a pretty potent tool. Uh, it's running Android 10, and uh, has a bunch of other features, including ECU coding, uh, something I may never use, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it while we're talking about it. Uh, other things include bi-directional control, so this thing can actually communicate with the car which all of these communicate with the car, but this will actually let you turn like the radiator fans on, click the fuel injectors and other things. And it also will do uh, the usual live data, but it also includes steering angle sensors and electronic parking brakes and all the usual things that you would expect with one of these. Nice little kit here, nice little box. And we're open this up. There we go. So this is obviously the first time we're opening it. Nice packaging in here, so we'll get this out of here. And here's the actual scan tool itself. Very durable, very solid. It does have a camera. Uh, this is built on a pretty solid uh, tablet. Has uh, 32 gigabytes of memory, three gigs of RAM. It's running Android 10, so it's fairly recent. And uh, this also has an auto VIN feature. You can identify the car. All right, so we have our launch scan tool here. I'm going to pop this side open, see what all is happening in here. And we have the usual assortment of user manual, and then more user manual, quick start guide. And definitely don't eat those. And then we have our assortment of connectors and cables, and let's take a look and see what's in here. Obviously this is meant for a global market, so there's various adapters in here. This is your data connect, data connection. There's your OBD2 end. And then the other end of that is a serial port, which goes right here. But we're going to go ahead and use the ooh, type C. Very nice connection. We're going to go ahead and get this charged up right now. So stay tuned. All right. So we have our launch CRP 919X scan tool here. Great unit. Uh, we're actually in our 05 Honda CRV here. And just to show you, the check engine light popped on here. And uh, so it's been on for a few days. So we're going to scan it right now and uh, see what we can do to, to confirm what's wrong with it. Uh, so with this, we haven't set this up yet, so we're gonna turn this on. Touch screen, it is touch screen, perfect. Okay, okay, so let's look for New York. There it is. Workshop, we're gonna skip this. We're going to blindly agree to everything because hey, why not? All right, so we have our launch uh, scan tool here, and we're gonna auto detect my 2005 Honda CRV. And there we go. Hit OK. Yeah, we are in the US. There's all our information there. Okay, so we're going to do a vehicle health test. Engine's not running, but the ignition's on. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm seeing some abnormals here. So before I start touching those, let's look. Okay, so here's our disclaimer. And let's click on abnormal and see what this says. Okay, so here's our codes. P4, P0420, technically. And when you see a, you know, OBD2 code, that could be uh, it's generic, so to speak. It could be your O2 sensor. It could be your catalytic converter's gone bad. Um, but the fact that it has these codes, there's there's something going on. Let's see what else is going on here. 
sensor failure, battery voltage failure, relation failure. So that's interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. And then passenger airbag cutoff indicator open in the seat belt okay. health report of the vehicle. And from here, uh, I'm not going to clear anything in here. I just wanted to show what's in here. Let's see if we can find the live graphing of the data here. Okay, so back at the main menu here, your live data. We want to read live data, and it is under OBD2. And so it's going through the different subsets, like the different... Uh, programming languages or variations of the OBD2 coding that different manufacturers use. It'll fail until it gets down to ISO 9141-2 because this is the one Honda uses. All right, there's our VIN. And a bunch of different stuff in here, but the one we want is we want to read live data. And I believe we can check. Let's just choose everything and see what happens. There we go. Car's not on. I'll probably have to turn the car on. Let me go ahead and turn the car on. So there's the car on. You can see we're starting to get numbers. 114 degrees Fahrenheit. There's our engine RPM. There we go. And let's see what else is in here. So we can record. We can actually graph. Let's go back up to the engine RPM because we can graph that here. That's where I hit the gas a minute ago. Should see it go up again. Yep, there we go. So definitely some versatility with this unit. And you can also clear and read the actual codes. Let's see what it does when we actually read the code here. Okay, so here's our codes. One says current, one says pending. Let's go into the code search and see what this actually tells us about. Okay, so it takes us right into Google there. What it is and how to fix it. So this is uh, actual web browser built right into here. So you can actually go in and find what's going on with each code and kind of get a, a little bit deeper understanding of the OBD2 code and how to actually go about fixing the car. Overall, this is a great unit. Let me turn the car off here. This is a great unit. It does quite a bit of different things. Uh, has a camera on the back and has an actual nice little kickstand here. It's been charging off the car, so it will charge off the car. Or uh, you actually have a Type C uh, connection here to charge it up. Great unit. Definitely recommend it uh, for steering angle sensor resets, oil light resets, electronic parking brake resets, and so many other things. Like this thing does a ton of different stuff, but definitely recommend buying and uh, definitely help your, your tool, uh, you know, like your actual uh, tool chest, take it to the next level and your car repair capabilities, take it to the next level. Thanks for watching.